Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. It has been a week, it's been a very busy week. I'm actually filming this video at 7.39 on Friday morning in hopes to get this filmed and edited and uploaded today for you. My mom has been here visiting. Uh, Troy and I took a little trip for our anniversary. His birthday, my birthday, speaking of birthdays and anniversary, today is Troy's 50th birthday and our six year wedding anniversary. So today is a very special day. Troy's actually gonna go out jeeping, off-roading with some friends today. And then we're going to dinner tomorrow, which is my birthday, Saturday, November 18th. We celebrated our anniversary and Troy's birthday on a trip to Sedona that we took. It is just, like I said, been a really busy week. So we're going to talk about how busy my week's been, how food has been, how it's been traveling and having my mom visit, as well as this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And of course, my way in post another vacation. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every single Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Please have these done. This is how I've lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group will all be down in that description box. We've got a lot to talk about. Let's jump in. So like I said, it has been a busy week. My mom actually flew in last Sunday and she just left yesterday. This is the first time I've seen my mom since we moved. It'll be two years in March since we moved from Spokane, Washington, where my mom lives to Arizona. So it was so nice to see her. When I picked her up at the airport, she about died. When she saw me, I've lost a lot of weight since I saw her last and she could not believe it. Even though we're, she's on my Facebook and she sees pictures of me, it's definitely different in person. She's like, you're so tiny. I can put my arms around you. She was just flabbergasted by my weight loss, which made me feel really, really good. She stayed with us the entire time and we actually spent a day going to the Colossal Caves, which is the same cave I went to with my meetup when I had my Tucson meetup. My mom really wanted to take the tour. My second time taking the tour in about a month, in less than a month and it was so good. It's such an interesting experience. We went to lunch and then we went to Old Tucson, which is a old town that was designed to, that was designed for a movie set back in the day that they've turned into tours and different events that happen in Old Tucson. So we did that and then we also took a drive through the desert so that she could see the desert and really experience the beauty that is Arizona. And then we went out for dinner. And then the following day, Troy and I actually left to go to Sedona, Arizona over overnight for our birthdays and our anniversary. This was the first trip since we've moved to Arizona that Troy and I have been able to take together because my mom so graciously offered to stay home and watch the dogs and we had an amazing, amazing time. We would love, love, love to move to Sedona, but it's expensive. The median home price is over a million dollars, so clearly not in our budget, but it's goals. It's goals down the road to potentially move into that direction because it was so stunningly beautiful. We did take the pink Jeep tour, which is something Troy really wanted to do. We shopped, we ate, we went out for an amazing, amazing dinner, $65 per person dinner. We did share it because it was so much food. I'm so glad we shared it. We actually had enough left over for the following day for Troy to have breakfast. I visited a couple of local coffee shops. We did a little bit of shopping, walked around the town. We just had an amazing time. It was just really nice to get away, just the two of us, because we really don't have that opportunity. Came home on November 14th, which is my mom's birthday, ordered in Chinese food and just hung out with her for her birthday. And then the final day that my mom was here, the full final full day my mom was here, we picked up my mother-in-law and we went to Tubac, which is a little Mexican town in Arizona and just did some shopping. And then we came back and just relaxed the rest of the day, just so my mom had a little bit of downtime before she flew out yesterday morning. It was fantastic. It was so nice to see my mom 
We had such an amazing time. She cried when she left because she was gonna miss the dogs and miss Troy and I. And it was just really, really special to have her here. And I'm really hoping that I get to see her more often in the future because once every year and a half, every two years, not enough. But with my mom visiting and with traveling to Sedona, of course, my food, my eating was a little bit off. I ate out a lot, pretty much for every meal when my mom was here and then of course for every meal while we traveled. And that is the third trip back to back in about the last month and a half. So I've been doing a lot of traveling and I wanna share with you how of course that affected my weight and things as well. But before I do, I wanna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Before we chat about a weigh-in post another vacation, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to make tricky food decisions on the fly. This is something we have to do a lot with travel and a lot with the holiday season. Next time you suddenly find yourself face to face with the food that you love, but didn't plan for, use these switch to turn, use these tips to switch off autopilot and really be mindful of the decision you're making whether or not to have that food or to skip it. There are some things that you can try. Check in with your points budget. Could you make room by eating a smaller portion, using weeklies or leaning on zero point foods later? Then imagine how you'll feel an hour after eating the food. Think you might have regrets or feel uncomfortably full or unable to stay on track the rest day? That's definitely an alarm bell. Or you might think you'll feel content and satisfied and able to stay within your budget the rest of the day. Bon appetit. And then give yourself some time. Try focusing on something else for five to 10 minutes. You can even pre-track the food with a plan to come back to it later. And then lastly, make your move. Do you still wanna eat it after waiting? If the answer is not really, cool, move on with your day. And if the answer is yes, enjoy the food, track it, and move on. Maybe a friend surprises you with your all-time favorite dessert, or maybe you're at a holiday party and you had no idea what food is going to be served, and now you're faced with your favorite foods and foods that may potentially be off plan. Even if you plan ahead and save your points or save your calories, you can still get thrown off in these situations. But you can anticipate how you'll react. And one of the biggest takeaways, in my opinion, of this topic is to give yourself some time. Don't go on autopilot. Don't go instantly reach for that food. Really think about it. Give yourself some time to decide if you really want it. Is that food or that food choice going to help you reach your goals? And if the answer to that question is no, then really think about whether or not you even want to indulge in that food. Are your goals more important? Have you had that food in the past? Have you already tasted it? Is it not that exciting? Or maybe you even allow yourself to have one bite, to just taste it and then put the rest away. As you know, the first bite is always the best. Just putting extra time and distance between you and those foods is really, really beneficial. And if you decide to still enjoy the food, then definitely enjoy the food. The goal is never to swear off your favorite foods or restrict or eliminate any foods. You can eat everything in moderation. You just have to watch your portion. And just remember, things that are higher in points, higher in calories, you just get less of them. It doesn't mean that you can't eat them, you just get less of them. You get less chocolate cake than you get broccoli. Just make sure you're making an informed decision. That is really going to help you navigate your weight loss journey. I also want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, when faced with the food we love, our brains turn on and tend to stay focused on it. Number two, swearing off certain foods can backfire, often leading us to overeat them in the long run. And number three, pausing to make a conscious decision can give us more control over what and how much we're eating. Restricting and eliminating foods is the worst thing you can do for weight loss. You should never ever have to do that to lose weight and maintain your weight. What happens when we binge and restrict is we binge and restrict. We restrict, 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 then we binge. We need to be more mindful when it comes to choosing the foods that are a little less healthy than others. Not eliminate them, not restrict them, not swear them off, but just eat less of them and really think about whether or not that food is worth it. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. And by utilizing these tips and tricks from Weight Watchers, you can make an actual informed decision, which is going to help you be more successful long-term. I love this topic. I think it's really important to check in with yourself every single day when choosing the foods that you're using to build your meals, the dessert that you're having, the snacks that you're having. It's just really important to be in tune and on point. Now let's talk about my weigh-in. Post another vacation, you know I went to Hawaii, came home for two weeks, went to Texas, came home for about a week. My mom came in. I ate out every single meal this weekend. On a positive note though, I made my, the best choices I could at those meals. I still allowed myself to indulge in my favorite foods and I moved my body. My mom and I walked 
every single day that she was here with the exception of Monday and Wednesday and I actually went to boot camp. I got up at 4 a.m. and went to boot camp. So I made sure that I moved my body. I also focused on getting in my water, making sure that I was able to flush out any excess sodium and really just being mindful of my portions. Again, checking in with myself, eating it a little bit less of the high calorie foods and focusing on those lower calorie options. So when I stepped on the scale this morning before heading out to boot camp, again, got up at 4 a.m., went to boot camp, my weight is actually up 0.8. So not quite a pound. That's to be expected. Again, I ate out for an entire week. I ate foods I normally don't eat. Although I focused on water, probably didn't get in all my water but I'm right back to it today and I'm not mad about a 0.2 gain. It's not even a weight gain, it's a weight fluctuation. I can guarantee you by tomorrow or Sunday, that'll be gone. It's just a fluctuation from the different foods that I ate. And again, maybe not drinking as much water. Luckily, I moved my body to kind of counteract that a little bit, but we'll see what happens over the next few days. I enjoyed myself every minute of it and I am not at all worried about a point eight gain. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen my total weight loss overall as well as my current wait. And now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? How was, did you gain? Did you lose? What was it what you expected? And what are your thoughts on this week's topic? Is this something that you need to work on really being more in the moment and mindful of the foods that you're choosing? And of course, let me know how your week went down below as well as nutrition coaching links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you happy Friday friends. I will see you in tomorrow's massive. And when I say massive, I mean, the biggest haul I've literally ever done is coming your way tomorrow. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.